The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the people who brought you evil houses, streets that fight, and crying devils, comes a series about Japanese Jurassic Park that newcomers will deal with the only way they know how, comparing it to Dark Souls, Monster Hunter World. Embark on a voyage to a newly discovered continent and experience the thrill of colonization for yourself as you literally carve out a place for yourself in this brand new world by exploring its jungles, deserts, and weird coral forests, tracking down the biggest thing that lives there, and beating the shit out of it in the name of research, then making a giant hammer out of its head and killing its entire extended family with it. The circle of life really is beautiful. Dive face first into the most accessible monster hunter yet, as Capcom brings the franchise out of handheld purgatory, finally letting you hunt monsters like a real person with an actual controller then strips out several layers of unnecessary bullshit and hidden information that meant you had to play the game with a wiki open next to you, resulting in a monster hunter that's actually something a sane person might want to play. Congratulations, Capcom! Your game is now slightly less complicated than learning a foreign language. Grab your insanely oversized weapon of choice, play some prehistoric dress-up, chow down on an insane amount of food for a single human, and head out into a brand new monster hunter world featuring more elaborate maps with no loading, a tracking system that isn't a massive pain in the ass, a slingshot strapped to your arm for annoying the wildlife, multiple camps and fast travel, a grappling hook that lets you zip around like Stone Age Spider-Man, and monsters that actually interact with each other in a hunting experience that feels more epic and intense than ever before, as long as you don't mind the rest of the game, which basically feels like doing your taxes. Experience the 100-hour loot treadmill that is still at the core of Monster Hunter, where you'll gather materials to make potions and tools so you can fight the same monster over and over again and never get that one part you need to finish your dragon flesh dress. Then grab some pals and hop online to hunt together, experience the shame of carting in front of them, and then still don't get the part you need in a gameplay experience that would be really tedious if the combat weren't so awesome. I am a monster hunting god! <laughs> so sharpen that knife every few minutes and roast that meat for an entry that finally brings monster hunting to the mainstream. Because aside from the fact that the game's pretty fun, how can you say no to a game where you get to make a badass cat friend? I shall call you mittens, and together we shall drink the blood of our enemies. Oh, you're so cute. Starring Mick Jagras, Mr. Steal Your Eggs, Ukulele, Dirty Dashing, I Heard You Like Mudkips, Shock Dog, Firosaurus Flex, Glandular Problem, Con Photographer, Ice Ice Baby, Snap Into a Slim Jim, Salandit, The Bone Zone, You Thought a Dactyl, King Dodongo, Filet of Fish, Jay Leno's Return to Late Night, Diablos to fight, Yas Queen, OG Drake Angster, Horn Horse, Godzilla, That Dude from Legend, DJ Tiesto, Valhalatosis, Dank Kush, and this fight is really dragging on, Scalebound. If you're ever having trouble with a fight, just send up an SOS flare. Three Japanese dudes will show up and destroy the monster in like two minutes. Carry me, senpai! Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. You're just jealous because the voices are talking to me and not you. Someone call quarantine, cause your smile's contagious. Anime is a mistake. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us.